What's up, y'all? How you guys doing? Today, we're gonna be working on the 240. Over there, you guys can't see it. But, my alternator took a shit. But this isn't a K24DE alternator. This is a Nissan Quest alternator. There's a couple things you have to mod on it. I know, pretty sure I have to drill this hole out right here. I have to cut it a little bit. Um, I just bought this. I already, I already did it before on this car. I just never recorded it. But, <clears throat> The alternator, because I forgot to put my engine cover on before, it took a shit on me. So let's get over here. Alright. So, as you guys know, the alternator is right down in here. Let's see, right... You guys can see it right there. But yeah, it's right here. This is the alternator so you're gonna have to take off this belt but it is tensioned i don't know if you guys can see it right there that's the tensioner i think on this one i have a 13 or 14 mil probably 13 mil um but i had to put a nut on the back of it right there as you guys can see uh but yeah i had to do that because the original bolt it wasn't long enough so it's pretty simple i had to take off i think that's a let me see looks like a it's maybe a 12 right there 12 or 13 take that off there's one plug on the back that you just pop off press the clip in pull it out and then there should be a looks like a 14 down there right below the belt like right right down here I'm touching it with my finger but yeah that's one so it's just that bolt this one up here for that bracket and then the connector and that uh power cable right there So we have the new alternator right here and we have the old alternator right here again they're both quest alternators uh same year and everything obviously I'm doing a warranty swap on it um i did miss one thing i believe this one should be up here but this this one right here it's a eight mil sorry all right so these are the two alternator um new one old one so as you can see this right here i needed to cut all that off as you can see here it's smooth this one's not this makes it a little bit too big for the bracket so i just lobbed it all off um otherwise i did miss one thing this bolt right back here this is a, a ground on the alternator this is an 8 mil this one was a i believe a should have been a 13 mil yep 13 mil and then this bottom bolt, that was a 14 mil. Um, this top mil for me, it was a 13 mil. I believe factory, it's also 13 mil. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. It's pretty simple. You just got to get the angle grinder and cut it right here. Or even the sawzall, either one. Cut it right there. And then it should all bolt back in properly. You have to make sure that you do, you do have to get another belt. Um, if I remember, I'll put it in the description on what the part number is. Um, but it's a little bit shorter belt, I believe, because the KA one would be... I think it's a little bit longer. The KA one's a little bit too short. But, so the reason why this one went bad, um, as you can see, it's all, like, corroded. What happened was that my hood vent, um, I forgot to put a cover over it, or, like, a tarp over it, so then the water just poured down. And then that was about, like, two months of me not driving it and it just being soaked by the rain. So as you can see, the aluminum all started to corrode and everything versus this brand new piece. So I'm gonna cut this off and then just slap it back in. It's a really quick process. Maybe like, once you get it down, maybe like 30 minute job, 40 minute job. <laughs> so that was legit like 30 seconds of cutting, if anything, but that's a nice clean cut. As you can see, they're about the same size. They should be good to go. Um, again, it's just that bolt. It's that bolt, the bracket, and you know for the tensioner, and then the nut I have on the back side. So I'm gonna go over there, set you guys back up, throw this back in real quick. Should be good to go. 
One other thing I forgot to mention is that you have to drill out this lower hole. Um, the size for the mounting hole for the Quest is a little bit smaller. I don't know what size bit this is, but this is the one I used last time. Uh, if I remember, I'll put it in the description as well. But yeah, you just drill through this one and through the bottom one. And then you just take the bolt. Make sure you get in. See how that one does it? Slides right in. <laughs> Alright y'all, so there it is, drill through both of them, so it goes straight through, and then on the back of it, there's this little washer thing you have to remember, it's like it has a little nut on it, just to let it tight in. So, we're gonna go back out to the car, throw this back in, good to go. So just gotta button up these last two pins. So again, this is just that 13 mil. Oh, hit this one. Make sure to put your cover back onto there. Don't forget to grab your harness plug as well. That one. Tight squeeze. It's kind of a pain in the ass because that fucking fuel pressure sensors right there. And then lastly, this ground that's right here. That one right up there. Oh, sorry if you guys can see that. Fucking phone. We yeah, this one right here. Alright, so just make sure. Got your power, got your connector, got your ground there. Got that bottom bolt all the way tightened down and got this tensioner bolt all the way tightened down. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to start it today. I'm gonna just show you guys in the morning when I start it just cause it's already fucking dark. It's already like 10 something. Uh, but yeah, that's it for tonight. Good morning y'all. So we are coming over here to go start the 240. Like I said this morning or last night, about this morning. So the battery is dead. See, battery is dead has a little bit of juice but not enough battery for the alarm to work properly so, son of a bitch just go on please that one's on I put this one on turn that on and turn that off perfect oh that in there let's see if this baby starts and the voltage it's gonna give out
Mm-hmm. <laughs>